looks like we're live. Oh, oh wait. Should be showing up any minute now. Oh, there it is. Yep. We are live, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Ark. Welcome back to the channel. And we are ready to depart. I think we were going to take a look at Scylla for the side quest, find Captain Erie on Scylla. Then again, now that I think about it, there's probably going to be a bunch more quests on Scylla, so we should probably go to Monarch instead to take care of all that stuff. Warning dangerous. Huh. Let me see. Oh, I also have to check out my logs. Nice. I've shut off the visual feed from my ocular inputs in the captain's quarters. So you're free to disrobe whenever you'd like. Who said I was going to disrobe? <laughs> Let's see. Search the Hephaestus mining archive cartridge with the keyword weapon. That captain sold Harris something called the Rearranger and left before we discovered the damn thing doesn't work. The only thing it rearranged is the number of bits on Harris's cart. Looks like some strange tech or a weapon. Maybe a scientist can make something of it. Doc Caulfield couldn't save Lem. Now I gotta arrest Harris for his murder. Confiscated that weapon he used and stored it in Birdie's office for now. Figure the least a site supervisor can do is fill out the forms for whatever that damn thing is. I don't know how I'm going to detain Harris. Oh, I got prison cells on this rock. Uh, the guy who died, Lemuel. Lemuel, uh, cause of his deceasement. Blunt force trauma, weapon unknown. Took a good whack to the noggin. Official area to be specific about it. It's all twisted up too. Nose is five times too big. Jaw is shrunk to almost nothing. Teeth are all out of kilter. I suppose that was true pre deceasement The blow itself didn't kill him. There's no way he could have breathed with all that damage. So this rearranger science weapon sounds like a physical melee weapon, which I don't really need. Hmm, I should complete. Oh, I should also talk to Parvati while I'm here. Hey, Captain. I hope I wasn't too much bother. I did have fun, and I tried some things I never would have otherwise. Some of the drinks we tried, I even liked. I guess it's not all disgusting. Oh, uh, just wait till we try the whiskey. I don't today. I guess that water must have worked. I'm glad I had you looking out for me. If it's if I know one thing, it's how to stave off hangovers. Well, turns out the key is proper hydration. Probably should have been able to guess that for myself, huh? Anyway. I messaged Junlei when we got back, and she replied super quick. <clears throat> okay. I was awake half the night, thinking about what I sent, anxious to see what you said. I reread my message in the morning, and it was unclear. I was drinking when I sent it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have had the courage. Also, sorry for the typos. Not to ask for spoilers, but are we drinking again? Oh, you just... Shh. Okay. I've ruined things in the past because I didn't say things I should have, like, I've met someone who's become special to me. I want to be honest with her, so if she feels the same about me, there won't be any surprises. So, Junior Lee... Mm. So, Junior Lee does like you? And she said it in the most awkward way possible. Oh, isn't she sweet? It's like one of those two bit romances where one soul's all stiff and formal, and I should be glad to perhaps take hold of your hand, miss. I ought to go fight her back. I mean, I already did. Twice. But anyhow, thanks for taking me out, Captain. <laughs> that went well. Now, what could possibly go wrong? You know, I should probably store away the bolter pistol and 
the light pistol. I don't think I'll need them. Uh, where was I going? Oh yeah, I was supposed to, ooh, I have a new perk. Let's see, chance to reset, companion ability, damage, swap weapons and reloads faster. Uh, let's go with this one, CPR. When Ellie's in the party, any damage that would kill you instead heals a small amount of health. Uh, this effect has a long cooldown. So I guess this means I have, like, an ex not an extra life, but just, you know, something in case I almost die. You and your companions deal bonus damage to corporates. Yeah, that sounds good. Let's see this one. When Parvati performs her ability, recharge some of your tactical time dilation meter. Ooh. I'll take that one. That one seems cool. What's his special? Mad Max. Deal bonus damage with science. Sure. Oh, what's Sam got? He's got corrosive washer and corrosive blaster. Permanently attached, cannot be removed. Hmm. Okay, let's see what you got. Increase intimidate while Sam's in the party. Reduce negative reputation for kills when he's in the party. Sounds good. Uh, Sam deals bonus to auto mechanicals. Oh, that'll be so good. So if I ever run into any trouble with them, I can just ask him to help. Let's see. I should go to Monarch. Let's go to... Cascadia landing pad, the dangerous one. We are in orbit over Cascadia, Captain. No one here? Usually someone's here to say, like, hang on, I gotta say something. So, Monarch. Finally on Monarch. See what it's like. Was, didn't we hear something about, like, some guy talking about the light? on the radio. Something tells me this place is gonna... Like from what Phineas said, it sounds like this place is a bit special. And that, you know, you'll see... Yeah. Oh, wow. I... I don't think I like this place very much. That place is far, far away. Anything here that I can buy? I should sell junk. What do we got? Mag, pistol, plasma carbine, damn. Yeah. Hmm. Nothing special here. What about Cleo? Nope. I think if I want to do the faction quest, I need to go to the other area. Ellie and Max are engaged in a heated discussion in the kitchen. Oh? The kitchen, you say? I should go see this. Thanks for letting me know, Ada. What you reading, Max? <sighs> if I tell you, will you leave me alone? Probably not. What is it with you and books, anyway? Some of us like to improve ourselves, Dr. Van Hill. No, I mean keeping those paper books. You got the data pad. Why waste the cargo space? You one of those people who wears reading glasses to look smart? You know, I think this uh, this crew really reminds me of uh, Firefly. I could spend hours. So. Mm, nope. Some. Nope. They were having an argument about books or a heated discussion I think that's what Ayo said but it doesn't sound like anything special now nah, whatever I'm gonna go we are now in orbit above Stellar Bay Captain 
No blockade is a match for my piloting skills. And let's go. I think this area should be closer to my target. But uh, we'll have to see. Ah, yes it is. Uh, why can't I... Oh, there we go. Now I can move. Any loot here? Doesn't seem like anyone's here to greet me. Uh, nope. It's in there. Stellar Bay, huh? Okay, I have to go get some pass... Whoa. I almost fell. Uh... Is there a switch for this? Grim. Hey, hold on there. I gotta sign you in. Alright, if you have to. I don't think I've seen you around. That means you must be new to Stellar Bay. You are new here, right? I mean that is my ship. I knew it. See, I made what you call a logical deduction. You must have seen those UDL gunships on your way in. There's always three of them these days. Still, they tend to scare folk off. Well, it takes more than a few gunships to scare me. Wish more folk would say that. It gets awful quiet guarding a landing pad that never gets used. You may not have heard, you being new, but Stellar Bay hardly ever gets off of track. Well, I heard. Us being cut off by the board and all. Which means I never get to do this part, but I've been practicing. So, here goes. On behalf of Monarch Stellar Industries, welcome to Stellar Bay, home of the freshest sal tuna in Halcyon. Please state your name for the records. Hmm. Uh, Alex Hawthorne. Well, there's one for the logs. I'm even going to give you your own entry code. I'm not supposed to do that. It's against procedure, but Mr. Sanjar isn't so strict about the rules here. Besides, I got a lot of empty entries to fill. Hmm. Is Stellar Bay really that isolated? We don't get ship traffic in town. Only off-worlders who do make it out here are sublight. They got a base in Fallbrook. I thank the stars for them, or we would have run out of Rizzo's Purple Berry Crunch years ago. You know, you're not what I expected to find here. Oh, or at least greet me. make Mr. Sondar's day if you tell him. The board makes up lots of nasty stories about raptodons and cannibals and whatnot. But that's all outside our walls. Mostly. So you're saying the board's lying about this place? Oh, sure. They make Stellar Bay sound like a rotten place, but it's not so bad. You get a good breeze going, and the sulfur smell mostly covers up the fishy smell. Anyway, Mr. Sanjar's got lots to say on that subject. Kinda goes over my head, though. You know, I'm gonna just go have a look Mr. around. Mr. Sanjar will be mighty pleased to meet you. If you see him over at headquarters, maybe you could tell him I did a bang-up job of welcoming you? Oh, and if you're headed that way, maybe you could do me a favor? Oh, uh, you want a favor. What is it? I got this Rizzo's Rangers toss ball poster coming in on the next sublight ship, signed by the Black Hole himself. Only I haven't heard anything in a while. Do you think you could check with Celia to see if it's come in? Who's the Black Hole? That's Bertie Holcomb. Only one of the greatest tossball hackers ever. I wonder if he's kin. Dad had family that worked for Rizzo's. I never got to meet them. Yeah, same last name, Holcomb. Everyone's heard of him, even on Monarch. He still gets some of the games. Has he been living in a sulfur pit or something? Yeah, or something. Uh. I've been in hibernation for decades. You're real funny. I guess I don't feel so bad for missing what goes on in the rest of Stellar Bay. You know, this poster sounds pretty valuable. I couldn't really say. I'm just a fan of the game. But the fancy collector types say the more people see these things, the less valuable they are. And I figure my poster's been passed around by more than a few people by now. Ah. Well, I can ask about it. Thanks a bunch. Celia works for Mr. Sanjar in the MSI building next to the bar. She's always there, so you can't miss her. Hmm. Yeah, this place is actually kind of pleasant. Hey, Rizzo's. Uh, spacer's choice? What do we got? Ooh, 
Chip Blade Mark II. Huh. Sentry Mark II? Or Saber. Sentry Saber Mark II. Huh. Interesting. Well, Auntie Cleo's. Got anything? Nah. Nothing useful here. Ooh. What is that? Is that a saber? What you call it? It's is a scythe. It's kind of like my plasma cutter, but different. I wonder if I can pickpocket him. What do you think you're doing? Um, nothing at all. Damn, she caught me. Hmm. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that. But I want to see that scythe. I like scythes. I'll keep it down. Let's see, where am I gonna go? The yacht club. Are you the well, vendor? Well. Isn't often we see new folk in Stellar Bay. First drinks on me, stranger. Thanks. Enjoy. If you plan on sitting through Nioka's stories, you might could use a few. I could use a few and tell it myself. Now what can I do for you? Hmm. Why is this place called the Yacht Club? a fancy ring to it. The name's the first advertising anyone sees, after all. Are there any yachts in Stellar Bay? Nope. But a man can dream. Hmm. What, what can you tell me about Nioka? Any amount of time in this bar is bound to get to know Nioka. On account of her being here so often herself. And I don't mean that unkindly. Anyone who's rid us of as many beasts as you have is entitled to a few drinks. Something else I can do for you? Uh, do you have anything to trade? Just some drinks. Yeah, so you're in Yoka, right? And the little bastard's slippery, right? On account of its blood. So it's, it's sliding all over the place, trying to crawl away. Getting so I can't tell the, tell the blood from the mud. I'll keep listening. But I gotta get in there. Get right in that baby rap stomach and dig it out. If so much as a drop of stomach acid got on that medallion, I'd... I don't know what I'd do. Might be I'd hunt every dam wrapped out there. Right. What are you staring? Wait. Who are you from around here? Who are you? Very observant. Ark. Uh, are you always this drunk? You think this is drunk? I gotta. Uh, you need to get out more. Sit. Partake. Buy me a drink and let's chat. Uh, sure, another round. I'll stand. Yeah, just two bits. What are you doing in Stellar Bay, stranger? I'm told you can help me find an information broker. Well, 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 well. Let's get down to Brass Nuts then, shall we? Brass... Wait, that ain't it. Brass rats? Let's... Let's talk business. I'm headed back out there after I sober up. You want a guide sooner than that? You have to get me something to clear my head. Uh, sure. What do you need? Outstanding. Our dispensary here maintains a stock of, uh, well, I don't rightly know what they are. Steroid or caffeine somethings? Pill. They're very good. Caffeinoids? I'm cut off for them. On account of needing one just about every damn day. But I'm sure you've got your wily ways. Fetch me one and we'll be all set. You mean caffeinoid? That stuff's a stimulant. Well, they work. We got a deal or what? Alright, I'll be back. The dispensary. Where am I gonna. Is this the dispensary? Oh, I already have one, do I? 
Kaf. 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 I don't see any cafenoids. Do I already have them? What's this? Mioka Bar Talk Bingo Sheet. Uh, right between the eyes. There were three, no four of them. That rap was this big. Took it down with one shot, buy me a drink. Someone made a bingo sheet for what she says? Hang on a second. Right between the eyes, three for me. I think she said all of those. Or it sounds like she could have. If she joins our party, might have to get rid of Ellie. You know, no offense. Like, I like the whole rogue and doc combination. But I can't give up our body. She's the engineer girl. I love the engineer girl in Firefly, so I got to keep her. Hmm. Oh. You're back. Good news? Bad news? Maybe both. All of the above? No, oh, never mind. Huh. Oh, maybe the dispensary is over here. Okay, so caffeinoids aren't a regular item, but they're something to acquire. Don't be so hard on her. With Brax missing, she's working doubles and needs a little edge. Very well, dearie. But you stop by any time you like. Mm -hmm. Thanks, I'll uh, I'll keep that in mind. Was she hitting on that guy? Uh, I don't want to know. Hello, dearie. Well, I don't believe I've seen you before. And with sweet cheeks like those, I'd remember. Quite the bedside manner, lady. Well, it's so rare I get the pleasure of new company. What can Auntie Abigail do for you? Uh, I've been asked to pick up a caffeinoid supplement. And what a helpful young lady you are. Nothing like a little pill to liven up the spirits. Whiskey helps, too. Please leave medical advice to the professionals. Dang, Ellie has a lot to say, now, doesn't she? Now, who's this pickup for? Uh, me. I'm so sorry, but with the iconoclasts and the marauder filth chasing away what little trade we get, I'm afraid I have to reserve my supply for Stellar Bay residents. Our reserves have gotten so low, I've even had to start locking the supply room upstairs. Isn't it a shame what some people will do to get a little extra? That's just awful. Isn't it just? I'd make an exception for you if I could, my little cherub. Is there anyone else needing a special pickup from Auntie Abigail? Nioka. Oh, her. It's none of my business, but I have told her Dr. Williams would bump up her monthly allotment if only she'd join MSI. Contribute like the rest of us. Now I've gone and said too much. <laughs> and you know me, dearie. I don't like to pry. Really? Does anyone else on Monarch have caffeinoid? If so, I would love to know where. Sublight supplies don't come cheap. I'd hope not. Policing is the mark of a real professional. Believe me, there's nothing I'd love better than to help you. <laughs> but there's not much I can do. Dr. Williams managed the town's allotments from his terminal upstairs. Even I can't access them. Hmm. Persuade 35. I thought you were in charge around here. You sure oh, ought to be, right? You flatter an old woman. Me, I'm just here to be a pretty face for the customers. And to keep an extra key to the supply room for all the times Dr. Williams misplaced his. Oh, my controllers? Okay. So, what supply room again? The one upstairs, where we store our medicines. Where can I find Dr. Williams? In the town graveyard, I'm afraid. 
poor man was always searching for the flower of enlightenment. On the way, he tried some rather daring substance combinations. Flower of enlightenment? It's a philosophist symbol of some kind, dearie. Never you mind. Ah, he's a philosophist. The graveyard's near the southern ruins. You're certainly welcome to pay our respect, but the bodies tend to attract beasties. Do be careful. I'd hate for anything to happen to you, dearie. I'll have to figure this out then. Chin up, dearie. I can't tell if she wants me to rob them or not. Uh, let me check out this door. Hmm. Optional is to get a dispensary supply room key, but I can just pick it, right? Yeah. Huh. This is the... Ah, uh, this is the back entrance. Right. What's this? Employee login. Let's log in with Williams. Hack. Yeah, yeah. Patient records. Not found, right. Uh, Neoka. Increase caffeinoid allotment. Resupply recommended. Data storage? Personal files for Williams. Um, is he? I think he's taking drugs. These are his notes on the drugs. Empty. Huh. What about A. Edwards? Is this? This is a work in progress book. Huh. That was weird. Anyway, don't mind me, just gonna steal some caffeinoid. I said I can also search his body. Wait, let me Come to share a secret with Auntie Abigail. I wanna search his body. Cause it sounds like he's dead. That or he's knocked out. Wrap mug and painted eyes, right here. Ma'am, please, I need your help. I can pay. Uh sure. Oh, thank you for stopping. Everyone acts like nothing's wrong. Like my little boy isn't at risk of being eaten by some vile creature. Please, you have to help me get my little Tucker back. He ran away and is going to get himself. Oh, I just know a raptodon is melting him with acid as we speak. It's more dissolving than melting. That is not helpful. Okay, calm down. Take a deep breath. Tell me what Don't happened. You tell me to calm down. I promised my boy I'd protect him for always. But how can I keep him safe if he's run away? He ran out into the wilderness a few days ago. I warned him about the raptodon. Mantisaurs and marauders with toxic sulfur pools and poisonous plants, but he didn't listen. Oh, law, Captain. A youngster won't last long in a place like this. Please, can't we help? Please, won't you go and find my boy? Why would he run away? He's been pining for an adventure. Says he's tired of living cooped up behind the walls. But he doesn't understand how dangerous it is out there. I warned him. A raptodon would snap him up first chance it got. I just know one's ripped his arm off and is gnawing on his sweet little fingers. He should have listened to his mama. I promised I'd keep him safe here with me. Well, where would he have gone? He's been listening to those awful broadcasts that the iconoclasts put out. I begged Sanjar to put a stop to them, but did he? No. And now I How just would he stop know the my broadcast? boys run off to Amber Heights. That is, if a Manta Queen hasn't spooled out and eaten his entrails for breakfast already. 
So what's this about Iconoclast? Those low-life degenerates leading innocent boys into a life of danger. Oh, they make it sound so exciting. Like it's noble to risk it all out there fighting for the greater good. How noble is it to worry your loved ones? Not at all, I say. But still they preach their sermons of anarchy and rebellion to anyone who will listen. If they weren't holed up in Amber Heights, I'd knock them all upside the head. Mm, where is Amber Heights? That old settlement, southwest of Stellar Bay. I don't know which is worse, the thought of my son shacking up with the nutty iconoclasts. Or that he never made it. Scraps could be nesting in his rotting body alongside the road as we speak. Or, or maybe marauders got him, pulled all his teeth out, crushed him into their drugs and made him snort him. Oh, the things that could happen to my Jeez, Lady, you have a really imaginative, uh, let's just say imagination. Look, I'll help you find your son if you'll just oh, stop with the images. If someone's able to fetch him home. You look for him in Amber Heights, you hear? It's down the road southwest of town. I'm sure he made it that far. I just know it. And if you find any of them iconoclast indoctrinating my boy... You punch them in the mouth. Tell them what I think of them luring little boys away from their mamas. It's immoral. Mm-hmm. Right. I'm just gonna go find this uh, doctor real quick, and then eh, maybe I'll help you find your boy. Look, no rush. He's he's fine, right? Smells like those old Sundays when we'd unload salt tuna shipments at the cannery. Am I the only one getting hungry? Okay, here we go. Bullseye. Hmm. Come on, come closer. Boom. Try using some abilities. Here we go. Anyone else? Looks like they're dead. Nothing here. Damn. Ooh, some meat. Energy cells. Huh. Yep. Nothing good. All right. What's there's a hole in this wall. And Saltuna. Look at the cartridge. Ooh, what's this? And da, 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 ooh, nice. Nice. All good things. Man, it really pays to have good lock picking, doesn't it? It's still burning. Ow, stop it. Oh, finally. Hmm. What am I looking for? Ah, there it is, Dr. Williams. Wait, what is this place? It looks like a church. Ooh, 
mac pick and some ammo oh what's this hey a nice hat it's also some oh I got a scythe yeah yeah and then, let's see I think I got a nice hat leadership skills and persuade Let's junk that and that. Hmm. This one's a good hat. Oh wait, why did I junk that? Hmm. Yeah, it's like that. I'll hold on to this hat. I don't think I need leadership skills or persuade. Anything here? Bits, ammo. What's this? A book. What am I gonna do with a book? Maybe I can sell it? Let's see, Doc, where are you? You around here somewhere? Feels like the old bits outside of Edgewater. Used up, unneeded, left to settle into ruin. Think they left anything good behind? Oh, I see enemies. Getting corrosive damage. Is that all of them? Good. Where's the docks? Oh, here he is. Room key and cartridge. There. I got a lot of XP for that. Alright, I got the caffeinoy, so I should return, right? Want to make sure I got everything. Ow, my foot. Uh, ooh, officer spine. That sounds. Oh yeah, it's the corrosive thing. Ah, oh, look at this scythe. Is that a body? Is there a is there a light button or something? No. Oh, what the! I can sheath my weapons. Huh? I had no idea. see any way to actually turn on a light switch. Uh, oh wait, there's uh, stairs up here. Can we get something in here? Nope. Ooh. Got some bits, weapon, ammo, Campo tuna, tarmac. Ooh, what's this? A spade. Hey, some bits. Who would hide those under the bed? Like, isn't that the first place people look? Okay, I think I've looted the place clean. What do I got? Ooh, this one will sell for quite a bit. It actually only sells for 1.5. So I thought, let's just break that down.
Well, I got a caffeinoid at least. Reminds me of the crew cabin on one of my first ships. Do you reckon the smell ever goes away? Maybe the wind off the sea helps. Anything else on here? No. Guess we'll just go into Stellar Bay. The centers in our mist. The enemy seek to destroy our way of life. Come on, move forward. There we go. Is there anything in here? No one's looking directly at me, right? Looks like no one noticed me. Hmm. Kind of want to see what happens if I pick someone's pocket. Hey, oh, whoop. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. It wasn't me. Too many people out here in public. If I could just find someone isolated. Oh, what the? I discovered a workbench somewhere. Ah, here. What's this? Zang's to do list. Uh, what we got? Skills. See about getting my. Uh, let's get my dialogue skills up. Yeah. Let's get this to sixty. So humans have a chance to cower in fear after the first time you hit them. Any other places I want to put points into? Hmm. I think I could have put a point into headshots. I could put points into melee. Fifty percent. Ooh. Huh. Man, all of these seem good. Put a point into leadership then. So my persuade is now at sixty or seventy-six. Hmm. Let's see my perks. What do we got? What do we got? Penetrating shots, don't go dying on me. I think I want to do a super pack mule. Increased carrying capacity. I mean, you can never have enough carrying capacity, you know? Okay. No one's looking here, right? So can I pick this person? No one's watching, right? Oh, wait. Wrong button. Let me try that again. Hmm. Nice pleasure doing business with you. What? I think I'm gonna be sick. Are you all right? No, I just stepped in a dead man's blood, and I think one of the flies landed on my mouth. Ew. If you're going into the apartments, do 
not go into the lower one on the right. That's where the body is. Lower one now, on the right. If you'll excuse me, I need to go contemplate a hot shower. Right, got it. Uh, anyone looking? No. Just steal some of this vodka. Sorry, sorry. Just spook me. Was all. Not much I can do for this guy. Oh, why did this guy die? Uh, let's loot the place first, and then. Anything here? All right, now let's go examine the clues. Toss ball betting slip. Increasingly bold wagers made for a team called Mostly Colonists. This guy was gambling, making some bets, and hastily packed suitcase. Stuff. He's got a suitcase. Hmm. I can conclude that he's on the run because of some debts. Oh, hello there, resident. Sorry to bother you, but something foul is leaking from the apartment upstairs. You should at least try to keep your window shut. Try closing your doors. Let's just steal that stuff. No one would be the wiser, right? I said there's some smell coming from upstairs. Whatever you do, don't use your cross back. Hmm. Now along rang about Mosley Colin, as we'd be thankful. Oh, let's not steal something like that in plain sight. This one, however. Yeah. Hmm. Don't think there's anything going on here besides the dead body. I mean, are you you're just stretching, right? Okay, good. Carry on. I thought something was weird with them. Where's Nioka, anyways? Still got to give her that caffeinoid. Hmm. Let's check the bench. Let's increase the damage. Let's give it a speed grip. Ooh, what if we convert it to... Uh, mm. Let's give it a Mr. Ouch. Just make it look cool, you know? Magnum. Magazine increases the amount of ammunition the weapons magazine carries. Well, it already seems to have one, right? No, it doesn't. Ah, oh, wait, it ups it by six, right. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Divide. Hmm, I should do something about her weapon. So you want this, uh, heavy assault rifle? I can't junk it actually. Never mind then. No, wait, maybe I can. Is there any Mark II pistols? 
I should give one to Parvati at some point. Instead of selling them. Ah, too late, though. You're back. Good news? Bad news? All of the above? I got your magic pills. You know these things are a little dangerous, maybe addictive. Says someone who's never had any fun. Exactly. See, I'm glad someone on your crew's got some sense of sensible. Got her head on straight. Ooh, that hits the spot. Right in the uh oh no, there it is. There it is. Yes. We're in business. Let's go. That was fast. I gotta see about stalking some on the ship. You be careful. The first one's free. After that, they'll offer you gainful employment. Hmm. Glad to have you. Great. Where to? Find the information oh, broker. Hiram? I ain't checked in on that man in an age. He's running the giant radio tower we lovingly call Devil's Peak. We'll be going south and west, mostly along the road till we're past Fallbrook. Out there, there's a western slope that'll lead us through some, uh, some fun. You like hunting, right? That's fun. If you're more of a spelunker, Rotting River will take you into the mountain caverns. We can discuss options when we get closer. There are options. That said, uh, three's already a crowd. I don't mind waiting somewhere until you got a spot open. Uh, Ellie, go in the ship. We need Nioka right now. I hope you like being part of our crew, Nioka. We're real excited to have you. Yeah. So you keep Monarch safe, huh? That's real honorable work, Miss Luca. Oh, no, no. Monarch ain't safe, even with me around. I've just got intimate knowledge of its dangers and an abundance of fortitude. Folks hire me because I know what you can shoot and what you ought to run from. That's a mistake you only get to make once. <laughs> See about Mioka. Ooh, she's got two-handed melee weapons. And she's got a light machine gun. Damn. Hmm. Let's see about perks. Tend to lie when she's at a party. Uh, reduce radius of footsteps. Sure. And deal extra bonus to damage. Sure thing. Where am I gonna go now? I should check in with Celia. Is ah, there we are. Very close by too. Could I get another advance, Mr. Nandi? Just make sure it's properly logged. I'll note it next to the others, sir. Let me save while we're here. Greetings, and welcome to Monarch Stellar Industries, producers and purveyors of the finest salt tuna in Halcyon. What can I do for you today? Are you having money trouble? Or is he not paying you on account of how he tried to fix the thing his own self and busted it even worse and then said you wasn't fixing it fast enough so he's docking your wages again? Not that I got any prior experience with such. Okay. Not at all. Mr. Nandi treats us all right and pays us well. I just spent most of my paycheck on rafted on acid. Do you normally blow money on rafted on parts? Laws, no. Sometimes it's canid teeth or mantis warm wings. Whatever Sebastian has in stock, really. Why are you buying? Wait, I mean, if you got that many bits to spend, I've got some trash to sell you. Oh, I don't need any of it. It's also I can talk to Sebastian. He doesn't get going about much else. I reckon she's got a little bit of a squish on this fella. Yeah, I reckon. He's sort of the strong, silent type. Unfortunately, my apartment's kind of filling up with his stuff, and some of the neighbors are complaining about the uh, smell. Oh yeah, I read about that. 
Just ask him on a date. I couldn't. What if he says no? Hey, maybe you could ask him for me. I, I mean, a no would still be bad, but it won't be quite as embarrassing if you ask. Oh, Mr. Nandi's doing that thing where he breathes through his nose real slowly. I'd better get back to work. Uh, I'm just curious. What do you see in Sebastian? He doesn't talk much, but he's got this quiet intensity, you know? Like there's stuff going on inside his head that you have no idea about. Plus, he's got great legs. It's hard to find a man who doesn't skimp on lower body exercises. Lower body. Got it. That's all I need to know. Sorry. Sometimes I get carried away. Talk to you later. Uh, actually, I need to talk to I you real quick. Grim wanted me to check with you about that poster. You know, sending you is the first bright idea I've seen from that man. Because I told him to stop bothering me about it a week ago. I still don't know anything about it. But if you want to help him, Velma's the one to ask. She's in the warehouse. But I'll warn you. Grim wore her patience thin a long time ago. Okay, thanks, I'll do that. Uh, are you Sanjar? Well, new business turns up at last. Celia, didn't I tell you our new statistics-based advertising model would be a hit? That you did, sir. How can yield improvements of 26.7% not quicken the pulse? How can 32% cost savings not poison the loins? Ew. You've often posed these very questions. I don't need to hear you talk about any schedule? loins. Moisted. This newcomer has a meeting with me. Ah, uh, very generous of See you. Celia, will you make a note of that for my self-review? Very generous. Noted. But not so generous I can't drive a good bargain. Now, who sent you? Rizzo's, perhaps? Or Auntie Cleo herself? Yeah, I'm just charting my own path going where the wind takes me. a charming notion. One doesn't meet many free spirits in Halcyon. Not outside Tartarus prison, anyway. Forgive me, I'd be positively enraptured. Only, I take it this means you aren't here for Saltuna. <laughs> if I have to eat one more weird science project that passed off as food in this rat effed colony, I'm gonna... S nah, I'm just gonna say afraid not. I'd been saving a bottle of iceberg aged whiskey for an occasion like this. Seems like you're having a rough time, Mr. Sanjar. Are you doing quite all right? Oh, don't worry on my account. This is merely the latest in a long line of professional erotic and athletic disappointments. Now, I had hoped that livening up our advertisements with enticing figures would draw the other corporations back to our bosom, but... It seems we're back to the drawing board. What exactly are you hoping to accomplish? To the so-called hazard clause, Monarch has been cut off from the board's resources and protection for ten years now. So-called is right. We've got our hazards, but we're still here, Damon. The board took off without so much as a thought for the folks left behind. I don't... Dang it, Captain, that's not right. Folks on Monarch shouldn't have to suffer just because the board says so. Well, we've kept ourselves in business by trading with individual corporations, but given the off-the-books nature of those transactions, such arrangements are precarious. Well, it sounds like you're freer than anyone else in Halcyon. Why not embrace it? You talk like Graham. Freedom always sounds nice, doesn't it? It makes a rather pretty slogan. But if you sit down and tally up the costs, how you provide for yourself in the absence of aid, how you protect yourself from a hostile galaxy, it starts to lose its shine. You know, that's just a coward's answer. I have people to look after. I need to be practical. That's why Mr. Nandi here has a rather ingenious plan to get MSI restored to the board. On our terms, mind you. There's a lot of good that'll do. I'll just find another reason to turn tail and abandon you. Not if we secure the proper safeguards first. And if our advertising scheme hasn't borne fruit, then perhaps it's time we took matters into our own hands. Yeah, this lady knows what's going on. It's true. Our Celia is an alarmingly competent middle manager. 
at any other company, she'd be wasted in data entry. The plan she refers to is a two-pronged approach, and the first part involves seeing Stellar Bay properly defended. How long did it take you to figure out that you need to defend your Not city? Long, but the devil is always in the details. And the salient detail here is a Bolt 52 cartridge. If you can get us what we need to rejoin the board, starting the Bolt 52, we'll be able to become one of the most productive and secure cities in Halcyon. And you'll have a powerful ally on the board. Hmm, sounds useful. What is it? Why, one of the strongest defenses in Halcyon. An extremely powerful ordinance. Wait, I have an intelligence check that I fail? What? Okay, once you have it, what's the other part? I'll need to gather some supplemental materials, but I mustn't get ahead of myself. You do tend to do that. The Bolt 52 will be in the old arms building southwest of town, which used to be part of Stellar Bay before we had to move our walls in. These days, it's overrun with marauders and raptodons. I guess I'll go get your Bolt 52. I've lost more than a few people to marauders and raptodons out there. Yeah, and how did this situation turn into me doing you a favor? a in the arms building with some dangerous information. Perhaps you could delete it so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Uh, can, I can I ask you something? You know, I met Grim, the landing pad guard. I see. And was his delivery of the MSI authorized greeting up to snuff? He did a bang up job. Well, that's excellent. I'll see that your feedback makes it into his review. What else can I do for you? Mm. Yeah, I gotta go. That's good enough. Huh. What is this? Hmm. Riot control. Ranged weapon skills? Ooh. What is this? Stellar Bay? What? Is that a... Oh, it's a fish saw. This is the guy that was picking up pills. Catherine like pills for her. So you, she's Velma. Look, you can tell Catherine the new shipment will be ready when it's ready, all right? She's welcome to come up here and pack boxes herself if she's in such a hurry. Uh, what are you talking about, Catherine? Sorry. Seems I got my cables crossed. Thought you were another shakedown tough from Fallbrook. I hope you can forgive my temper. This job has been running me ragged lately. First, my autoloader foreman stages a walkout, and now my chief pescatological health manager is missing. Your chief what? Braxton. He's in charge of getting the fish fat, but also making sure they don't get too many tumors. He's a real wizard with pharmaceuticals, but he has creative notions of working hours. It comes with living in a free colony, I guess. So find him and drag him out by his ears. I would if I weren't busy here picking up his slack. Since you don't seem to be constrained yourself, maybe you could check up on him. He lives in the apartments. Tell him Velma said to get his lazy ass down here, or she might start noticing those extra drugs he's been taking from supply. Something else on your mind? Uh, you said something about your foreman? Caleb Herrick runs the autoloader operators. He thinks I don't pay them enough for flipping switches and turning dials. So the job's easy, but you're not doing it? Something smells here. I mean, everything smells in here, but something's fishy. Uh, wait. This is a cannery, so... He and his whole crew walked out. They say they won't come back unless I pay them more. I mean, when? You can make them come back, right? Not on Monarch. Sanjar threw out the old work mandates and penalties. Is that good? Sure. Until your workers start making ridiculous demands. 
can't you pay them more? Because we've got a budget, all right? And in case you haven't noticed, MSI doesn't exactly have a lot of spare bits on hand. You want me to talk to him? You mind slapping him around a little while you're at it? I'm joking. Mostly. Unless you can do it without hurting his job performance. If you can find a way to get him back to work, I'll make it worth your while. Check the Yacht Club. He's usually there. Right. Uh, can I ask you about Grimm's poster? This again? I swear, this is the last time I contract for any special requests. You can tell Grimm his poster came in. You can also tell him I got a better offer for it. So now it's going to Nell. That about cover it? Who's Nell? She runs the bedding parlor across the way. A nice professional lady. She asked me about the poster once. Just once. Made a real generous offer, too. She does sound easier to deal with. I don't have time for Grimm, even when I'm not working doubles. Didn't he pay for it, though? No. I paid Sublight for it. So, it's mine. And when Nell pays me for it, it'll be hers. Grimm may have asked for the poster, but it's not his until I take his money. So you still have the poster? It's staying locked up in my office until Nell shows with her money. Hmm. Do you think we could work something out? Sure can. If you want to pay me more than Nell's offering. Hmm. Come on, work with me. I'm helping you find Braxton, right? Sure. And once you finish helping me, then we can talk about the poster. All right. Fine by me. Wait, you, you mentioned Braxton's been stealing drugs? Stealing such a nasty word. Let's call it skimming. Skimming is still and stealing. Yeah, let's just say I've noticed the sterile biotics we use for the fish would get used a little faster on Braxton's ships. Why didn't you turn him in? We're not like those corporate towns where you get fined for sleeping on the wrong side of the bed. Besides, the Spacer's Choice stuff we use is cheap enough. And Braxton knows how to get the salt tuna, fat, and mostly tumor free. Who's this Catherine you mentioned, anyways? Sublight boss out of Fallbrook. Handles most goods that come in or out of Stellar Bay. Has a mouth like a ground six spacer. Right, uh, I'll talk to you later, I guess. Oh boy, this place has a lot of things to do, doesn't it? Hmm. So if I wanted to, I could always steal it, the poster, from now. Then again, I don't have to steal it. I could just simply go to Braxton's apartment find him. What's this? Monarch? Oh yeah, that's the building for MSI. What was it like in Edgewater? I hear you workers were on the clock every available moment. We always got eight hours a day for sleeping. Just not always consecutive. My condolences. I appreciate consistent wages like any other sane person, but that still sounds awful. At least Sanjar gives his folks weekends. Weekends? Hands of the void. I used to drop by the bar in Stellar Bay to knock a few back with the folks who had Saturdays off. I don't know what I'd have done with that much time. I was always behind schedule anyhow. Knowing you, you'd sit and be alone with your thoughts. Hmm. You guys, you guys done talking? Great. I want to go talk to this guy. You startled me. Don't sneak up on a person like that, huh? Uh, looking for Braxton. Have you seen him? Braxton? I've never even heard of a Braxton. Got nothing for you. Sorry. Relax. No one's in tr trouble. Just looking to have a friendly chat. Or you've been taking drugs. No! Okay, maybe just a little... Braxton always has a good stash, and I just like to let loose a little. Stop thinking about the Marauders and the Raptodons outside, you know? So you do know Braxton. Where is he? Oh, damn. He told me he was delivering to this house in the ruins south of town. The whole family had fallen sick, and he had some meds on hand. Hmm, sounds like a nice so guy. maybe look for him there? Thanks. Oh, no. It's okay. We should hurry, Captain. 
Yes, we should. Except I gotta go take a quick break. I'll be right back. You know, I'm not feeling so good, so I think I'm going to end the stream here for today. I uh, don't know if I'll resume later or just tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. So, sorry for the uh, short streams. Hope you enjoyed, and I uh, hope you have a pleasant day.